Hey, you had once said there's not a tight end in the league you can't cover successfully. You know one of the issues the Cardinals have had is covering tight ends. What do you think coming in here in terms of what your role may be with the defense? Um, for me personally, I'm just willing to do whatever I'm asked to do. Um, I still honestly believe that I can successfully cover any tight end in the league. Um, it's, it's professional football, so of course they're, this is the best of the best, but I'm very confident in myself and my ability as well. Devondre, Scott Bordeaux from The Athletic. How you doing, man? How are you? Good. Hey, were you surprised going into free agency after the year you had with Atlanta that there wasn't a multi-year contract kind of waiting for you? And and what, what made you agree to the deal with Arizona, which could essentially be kind of a one-year deal? Did you figure if you have a good year, it kind of set you up again? Uh, for me personally, I just I understand that everything happens for a reason. Um, it, it was a little bit discouraging at first, but like I said earlier, I'm very confident in myself and I know what I'm capable of. And after talking to, to Vance and Billy and, and, and everybody else over on the Cardinal staff, I was just very confident in, in what I can bring to the organization. And I like the direction that the team is going. I'm confident in Cliff. I've had several conversations with him and I just I just like the, th the way things are headed. I think we got some really good pieces on defense and we just have to continue to build. Hey, Devondre, this is Kyle with azcardinals.com. Uh, wondering with, with the draft pick of Isaiah Simmons, uh, do you feel like there's enough snaps for you guys to go around with Jordan Hicks in that group too? Yeah, plenty, plenty of snaps to go around. You know, like you can never have enough great players. And Isaiah, he's a, he's a unicorn. He's very gifted. Um, we, we've had the pleasure of being in the same meeting room together. He's very intelligent. He's picking up on the defense pretty fast. I think I'm picking up on it as well. So at this point, man, the only thing we can do is take it day by day and just compete and continue to make each other better. Next three questions would be Catherine Fitzgerald, Richard Sines, and Cam Cox. Hey, Devondre, this is Catherine from the Arizona Republic. Um, where are you joining us from and what have the last few weeks been like for you just with this being such an unusual off season? Uh, I'm currently in Minneapolis. Uh, I just bought a house out here for me and my family. Um, with the pandemic going on, everything's really uncertain right now. So I just kind of wanted to provide some stability for my family. Uh, the past two weeks have been kind of up and down because I've been moving a lot. So it's 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 been like this, a roller coaster for me. But you know, just being able to be in the virtual meetings, it kind of takes my my mind off of like everyday life and everything that's going on within the world and just really being able to sit down and think about, you know, how other people are being affected by what's going on and not so much myself. Hey, Andre, Richard Sines here, Fox 10 Phoenix. Um, you know, we talked to your teammate, your former teammate or your new teammate again in Robert Alford yesterday, uh, a guy that you played with uh, in the Super Bowl. So you guys know what a Super Bowl type defense looks like when you look at this Cardinals defense how close are they to, to getting to that level uh, it's funny that you asked that because I just talked to Robert today and we were talking about how um there's very little weaknesses on our defense if any at all um we have everything we need it's just the one thing I've learned about playing on a Super Bowl caliber team is that it doesn't matter how talented you are just have to have everybody clicking together and if everybody's on the same page and everybody has the right mindset there's not much that we can't accomplish you know like we have a, a very strong secondary we have two really good corners we have a, a great safety in Buddha and we have a, a really good front seven so we just have to continue to, to put everything together and, and making sure that everybody's on the same page. Devondre Cameron Cox, 12 News here in Phoenix. Welcome to the Valley, buddy. Hey, uh, what's it like being the new guy in the meeting room and, and getting to know a bunch of teammates that you, you've never met before virtually instead of in person and in the locker room like normal? Um, for me, it's, it's a little bit tough because as much as I'm talking right now, this is about the most you'll ever get me to talk. I'm very introverted, so I don't, I don't talk a lot. I kind of try to stay to myself, but 
with us being in these virtual meetings, this is all we have at the moment. So I kind of try to make the most of it and make sure that I'm doing my part and just being interactive and, you know, answering questions and being involved in everything. But it's definitely different, you know, being somewhere for four years and then uprooting and having to leave. But it's cool, man. I, I enjoy everybody in the room. I enjoy my position coach. Uh, I think me and Jordan are, are, are building a good relationship at this point. But I just I, I can't wait for us to get in person. You know, like I'm a very in-person type of person. Like I'm better when I see you face to face. So we just have to make the most of what we can at this point. Next three, Darren Urban, Kevin Zimmerman, Catherine Fitzgerald. Hey, Devondre, it's Darren Urban from azcardinals.com. I'm curious, I know you were just talking about being able to see these guys in person to get to know them. We, we've heard from a lot of veterans like Robert yesterday talking about how Vance's defense is already kind of second nature, even though you guys are doing things virtually because they were around it last year. What about you veterans that haven't been around it? Are you? Is there any... Uh, anxiousness about getting to know this defense now that you've been through some meetings, even though you can't rep it on the field? Um, personally, I think that our coaching staff is doing a really good job of, of teaching it in a virtual way. Um, like I was just saying, me personally, the best way that I learn is actually being in person and and actually seeing everything in person because like, on the football field, it's unpredictable. Anything can happen. There's things that happen at the speed of light, so you have to be able to adjust. And that's the one thing that I'm not being able to do virtually is see all the the key cogs and missing pieces that you wouldn't be that you would be able to see in person. So for me, that's just the biggest difference is that I'm a hands-on type of person. I actually have to do it. But like I said, I think our coaching staff is doing a really good job of teaching it. And I feel like the new guys, as in myself and everybody else, the rookies, were doing a really good job of picking up on it. And today we had a, um, a team, a virtual team walkthrough for defense, and everybody was all, all together just clicking, you know, everybody making their calls, knowing their responsibilities. So that was a, a first, our first meeting together. So it was pretty good to get that in and, and be able to, to, to talk with the guys and kind of work through some stuff. Hey, Devondre, it's Kevin Zimmerman from ArizonaSports.com. Um, I was just wondering throughout your free agency process, did you kind of hit up Rob R. Alford or guys you might know on this team to kind of see the situation and kind of judge what the Cardinals being a Cardinal is like? Um, I have a few ex-teammates that are on the Cardinals. So being able to, to reach out to them and get their input on, you know, coaching staff, scheme, city, you know, everything that goes into to being a professional football player and living in a city. Uh, I was very confident with the reviews that I got from all of my teammates. They made me feel very comfortable that I was coming into a good situation, a good coaching staff, and just being able to, to compete at a high level for, for what we all are in it for, a Super Bowl. Hey, Devondre, when you're trying to build those relationships with new teammates who you haven't played with before at all, what are some specific things you're doing to get to know them outside of meetings? Like, are you going through social media, calling them on the side? Like, is there anything besides the meetings you're doing? Um, I think that the biggest thing to really developing relationships with people you haven't met is being transparent and understanding who you are and them understanding who you are. So for me, like just reaching out after meetings and kind of getting together and doing what we can, you know, like Jordan's been really helpful to me and everybody else I haven't really been able to reach out to and, you know, get, get together like I want to, but Jordan's been really helpful. Anything that I have, he's been willing to help me. And that's all I can ask for in a situation like this. Next three, Craig Fooey, Jess Root, Scott Bordeaux. Hey, Devondre, uh, you had said you're introverted, but uh, one of the things I read about you is you're a very vocal leader for the Falcons in the locker room. Uh, how do you put those two together? You said introverted, but yet a vocal leader in the locker room. Um, 
my co my, my ex coach just said it really well. Um, I don't talk much, but when I do, it's pretty important, you know, because I'm a, I'm a very thoughtful person. Like I don't just say stuff to say it. Like if I speak up, it's been something that I've seen several times, and I thought about it, and I went through it over and over, and then I finally said something. Like I'm the I'm the type of person that thinks twice as much as I speak. So. When I do speak, it's pretty important information that's coming out. And hey, Devondre Jester from CardsWire.com. Uh, going back, you said to a virtual walkthrough. Could, could you get, take us a peek into that? What does a virtual walkthrough look like? Are you guys watching uh, defensively? Are you watching uh, film of some offense and you have to make the calls virtually like that? And secondly, uh, one of the things that, the, that we've heard from the team is that in your, it was the game that you guys had against the Cardinals where they really were impressed by your play. Is there anything from that game in particular that you remember uh, about how you played against the Cardinals? Um, first question. So for the virtual meetings, uh, BJ, he'll put up a play and then he'll go position by position and he'll ask you what your responsibility is. And just like if there's adjustments within the play, he'll be like, okay, so you – you know your assignment, what if this happens or what if that happens? And just you kind of talk them through it and then everybody's making their, their separate calls, like the safety's making their calls. Us as linebackers, we're making our calls. The corners are making their calls. We, we're getting the D-line set. So that's kind of sort of how a virtual, our, our virtual meeting went today. And like I said earlier, I think it, ran, it, it went – really well for us all being together for the first time and for me actually revoicing everything that I've learned over the past couple of weeks back. Uh, I felt like, I feel like I'm in a good space, you know, considering that we haven't been able to do anything in person. And a uh, second question, I, I'm not sure there's anything particularly that stood out from when we played the Cardinals last year because I know I did a lot of different things that game. I know in Atlanta, like, I had a lot of different responsibilities. So it was really a game to game basis. So I can't really say what it could have been that, that impressed them. Devondre, you mentioned you've had several encouraging conversations with Cliff Kingsbury. What about those conversations kind of impressed you or stuck with you? Just the fact that He's excited to have me a part of the squad, you know, just, you know, the guy that's in charge of everything when he's welcoming, it just makes you feel better about yourself and understanding that you're not coming into a situation where you don't know what's going to happen. Like I understood what they are asking of me. Like they made it very clear from day one, what they're asking of me. So I've been in situations before where you just don't know what to expect. So this is not one of those situations. And like I said, I, I was very confident after talking to Cliff, VJ, and Billy on what I was getting myself into. All right, we'll wrap it up with uh, Tressa and uh, Catherine Fitzgerald. Hi, Devon, Drake, Tressa, Tedrick, 3TV, CBS 5, Arizona's family. Uh, I would say welcome to the desert, but virtually welcome, I guess. <laughs> um, my question for you is you elaborated a little bit on what would make this defense a Super Bowl caliber type of team. But what about the Cardinals as attractive as a whole and just coming in and seeing all the parts and Kyler and Larry and you mentioned Cliff as a whole? So as a whole, it, it's, it's all about chemistry. Um, the, the best thing, the, the most vivid thing that I remember from our Super Bowl run my rookie year is how how much fun we had as a team, you know, like, in all reality, I've been on, on teams where nobody's really cool with each other. You know, like, we all have a job to do, and that's it. It's just the job. But that year, it was special because, like, you had guys from different backgrounds, different upbringings, everybody clicking together. Like, we were going on bowling trips. Like, once a week, we'd all go out and, and bowl, or we'd go, we, we were doing stuff as a group. And... It just built our chemistry up that much more. So, like I was saying, that, that that's, that's really what it takes is just having overall team chemistry and understanding, like, in, a, in all football games, there comes a point where things get really hard and they get really tough. And 
you look at the man next to you and if you have that great relationship with him you're more willing to leave it all out on the field you know what i'm saying like i've been on both sides of that where guys don't have a great relationship it gets hard in the game and some people might give up you know what i'm saying so it's all about developing relationships yeah andre um two things one this cardinals defense last year improved at the end but kind of looking at the season as a whole struggled what's the mood like on the defense as a whole right now with just how many things change during the off season looking ahead and then separately from that jordan hicks and jordan phillips are both really good bowlers so i'm curious if you had all those bowling trips in the past where's your game like how do you think you'll fit in there uh i don't like this trash talk but i don't really bowl nothing under 120 so that's just like a warm-up match for me but um honestly um the 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 morale in the locker room is just everybody is really confident because they understood that it was the first year within a defense and your first year within a defense there's always going to be kinks you know like you're playing against the best of the best so there's always that learning curve and that was last year everybody's a lot more comfortable year two it's just like going from being a rookie to your second year you make a huge jump and that's what everybody's mostly optimistic about is the fact that, you know, the improvement late in the season is what you want to see. You want to see guys getting better at something that you're consistently doing. And with the improvement that they made later in the season, they just want to continue when the season starts this year. And I think I can be a huge piece of that and everybody else that's new within the organization.